You're listening to the Saturday Night Gaming Podcast, Starfall, run by one of our GMs, Tony Stevens. Hope you enjoy. And welcome back to another action-packed episode of Starfall Season 2, brought to you by Saturday Night Gaming. I am Tony. I will be your GM and your host in this event. I will allow my cast and crew to introduce themselves, tell you about their character and what it's going through at this moment. But first, I'm going to remind you to click like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to tell your grandmas about this podcast so they can in turn Tell their other grandchildren about this podcast. Let's grow this fan base. All right, so we'll go ahead and kick it off to my left. Go ahead and introduce yourself, the character you're playing, a little bit about what's going on with you right now. Hello, friends. This is Noel Jostein being played once again by the incredibly charming Ryan Ladner. Uh, Currently, I am about to call on Aiden's name to open my eyes to the deception that is before us. A.K.A. I'm going to try to figure out which of these women is the real woman. <laughs> As one does. As one does. Uh, what's up? It's Brady. I'm playing Yip Yap. And currently, get this, I am surrounded by attractive women. For a change. For a change. Okay, that's all. That's all. <laughs> I'm just kind of playing Amara. Um... We're here in this kind of legendary place that I've studied about for a long time, surrounded by a really cranky looking sexy woman. So would this be like shock and awe to you to find this place that you've read and studied about so much? Yeah. Is it like meeting your heroes? Not this lady, but yeah, the location. It'd be like, um, like me going to one of the caves in France where all the cave paintings are. Ones that are all over And then the finding a, a mean sex lady that wanted to kill me. In France, that is likely. Okay, cool. Mean sexy ladies exist a lot in France, I'm sorry. It's true. They carry a really cool accent. I'm Ronnie. <laughs> I'm playing Rogoth. And all these peoples around me, seeing who's going to hurt me first, and then I'm going to hurt them back. As one does. Sounds like a teenage girl. (laughs) See if they speak French. All right. So, starting off, I believe we had Yip Yap running up to Slap Slap. We have the minister trying to roll for perception so that he can see if maybe casting off uh, some pocket sand will help him discover which woman is real. Rogoth just holding his claymore in front of himself going... Oh, I dare you. And in the center, you have Amara looking around saying, quit ruining this experience for me. No, that's not what I'm saying. <laughs> He's a GM. He can't argue. I can argue. He's not a I can argue. It's real. All day long. I've dictated it. <laughs> all right. So go ahead. Uh, perception roll, attack roll, waiting. I rolled an eight. Look what you did to me. What do I need to roll? Uh, so you're perceiving, so you'd be rolling against her. I put her at a 15 now because she has the bonus of the illusion. So 15 is the base. Can I give him a helping too? Yeah, I mean, technically, I can't stop you because she has this free thing that you get to give out. So I can bring um, her down. I can bring her down three myself to 12. Okay. So oh, that would help how me. How much hits. was your thing? Nine. So you're at nine now. I'm at nine, and I'll spend three of these to bring it down. He really wants to find this lady. He really me. wants her. If I need to, do I need to? My edge helps bring it down too, though, right? You can use your edge to bring it down. If you, you're like just rolling that for is using an edge. It doesn't bring it down. I forget how many I need to hand you right now, though. How Hang much on. is? So <laughs> you used your your free edge to bring it down to twelve. She used her asset to bring you down to nine. Well, I'm tra- I'm trained in perception, so got you. So what you're doing, you can use your free edge. Okay, yeah, yeah. 
Um, so you, she brought you 15, 12, yeah, 9 six. to 6. I can roll a 6. I've heard Ronnie say that before. I rolled a 5. Oh my god, do you have an XP? Okay. <laughs> Don't ever say, I can do that, because then obviously you're going to roll run under. It's all the XP. really important to him. Six. Whoa! <laughs> you can roll a six. Yes. Man. So, you've zeroed in over here as the pocket dirt has landed siltily on her boot. You can tell she to, is quite real. Point that out to Rogoth. Like, hey. Slap. Hi, Come over smack here, him. Why hey, do you Rogoth. smack him? He says, let me hold your hand. Come over here and look at this. Oh, they're holding hands. That's so cute. I'm just going to, like, kind of tell him. Use my, I'll tell him with my eyes. Wait, which one is it? Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. He hasn't told you. <laughs> All right. Yip, yap. Mm-hmm. Are you Rolled an eight. <laughs> <laughs> Plus six, that's 14. I'm scared, Rogoff. I'm scared. Miss. Unless they lowered it. Mm-hmm. That is a miss. They did not lower anything. So. So well, he just whiffs in the air. You have some XP I'm looking at. You can use no, to you can't have it. Okay. That's cool with me. Um, so. Immediately you run over to this, this entity. Mm-hmm. And you go and you jump and you slap. And the illusion explodes in a concussive blast. Huh. Five so damage no before armor. So you just said it was an illusion. Guys, this one's an illusion. Yeah, we know. <laughs> <laughs> He's already told us which one is real. Five oh. damage of might before armor. You have armor. Here, take these. I could pass Shout. this cipher on to Rogoff. Do you want to be? Do you want to have this lady lusting after you? I don't want to. I don't know. <laughs> you want you want Ryan to do it. Somebody's got to have her be in lust. Well, since I'm who just saying, can since keep, who who has an XP that can actually keep the cipher in case you want to use it again? I do. I've only got one left, but yeah. Yeah, I guess yeah I he guess. just spent some just to find out who she is. It was. is a good cipher. I felt like it was it was important for us to figure that out right away <laughs> let's just cut through the cut through the chaos and, uh, it is your turn if you want to go or you has go she attacked me that. yet or she has not attacked you this illusion over here exploded in yip yat's face when he slapped it but she did not directly attack you well that wasn't her that didn't hurt me none so you want to hold your turn Still, or do you want him to throw this cipher? Or? He used his perception just to get you to this point. So yeah, I know. You can't know hold which your turn. one is the one. If you want to hold your turn, I'll give you a defense asset if she attacks. Just trying to think what Rogoff would actually do in this situation. What would a Rogoff? I think he would listen to Noel. I think he would. He would. <laughs> Because he's not in battle mode yet, right? Yeah, he's not in battle right, mode. Right, yes. Yeah, she hasn't yeah. attacked him. That's, yeah. that's so clear. I think he would so he's not listen. bloodthirsty. Yeah. If he does go bloodthirsty, though, we will remember this time to have him roll intellect to get out of it. <laughs> that's right. I forgot, too. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. That's my fault. So I'm going to let you slide on that. So. Um, all right. So then we are back up to Amora. Um, and She's I know top. that he's about to use this cipher, right? Because I gave it to him. So. You said here is this. This. Uh, love sigil, potion. This sig- yeah. Yes, this love potion I've, I've crafted. Splash it in her face. I was saving it for Hank Cargyle. But then he. Uh, hey, I didn't even need a cipher for Hank Cargyle. That's why I didn't use it on him. Um, I will just hold my turn. I want to kind of wait and see what happens when he gets all ciphery. She does get a turn before my next turn. So you're holding your turn. 
She gets a turn before your next turn? It goes you, yeah. her, them. Oh, then I'll try to trust her and honor her. All right. 15 Ronnie base. hold his turn? You held your turn? He did. Yeah, I held my turn because she was going to attack me. But you told me to use the stuff. No, I, I wanted you to attack her. But oh. you've already held your turn. Oh, we got oh. confused there. We, we didn't oh, know. yeah, that's what my that's what I thought was about to happen. <laughs> yeah, he held his turn because he thought that's what she wanted, so you could use this cipher on her. It's okay, just a little miscommunication. We'll get it back. We'll get it back. <laughs> we were we were out of the groove for a second. Should we huddle up again? <laughs> Everybody, <laughs> mind calm. <laughs> so we want her to attack. We want, no, I wanted to I guess get he that move. We needed. I felt like we needed to attack her before her turn. Her turn. Just to let her know we need mean business. Hmm? Right now, we know which one is the real one. Which oh, one? That's what I. Again, that's what saying. I did all the roll the okay. spent all the XP on. Okay. I don't know which okay. one's real. Once again. So tell me what I need. <laughs> <to do. laughs> It has made it much easier for us. What should and I do? Everyone has completely <laughs> bypassed it. Look, everybody, I've made it easier. Do you what? think this is how real preachers feel? All right. I know the path, people. <laughs> Just listen to me. It's it's written here in my book. Hey, look, it's this. She has dirt on her feet. Okay, I want to use the trust room. Um, it's three in. And she's at a base 15 difficulty right now. So if I use three, it would bring it down to 12. So starting off, what's your, what's your edge? No, this one's right. I'm right. So it's 12. Yeah. I got a two. Ooh. Yes, she does not trust at all. She feels none of the blessing of your gods. Okay. All right. So, well, there you go. at this point, everybody's out in the open. There are four images standing around. Noel is grabbing Rogoth by the arm, saying, Will you just listen Why to me? Why didn't you attack her? Why didn't you attack? I told you it's her right there. <laughs> yip yip's like, She's right. Here. He's jumping up. He's like, hey, what y'all talking about? Hey, <laughs> hey, what y'all talking about? And Mara's like, why don't you trust me? Everybody roll defense. We this sound is like we're a, a hot mess. Speed defense. Speed an 11. defense. I have a trained in speed defense. 11 and I have trained. That's a 14. I rolled an 18. I mean, I got an 18. I still have a speed asset and I will gladly spend. I have no edge in speed. So it's three. So yeah. it starts out as a fifteen. So you have a speed asset, or you have a defense asset, or a speed yeah, asset. Yeah. Is that what you're saying? Uh, so breaking it down to a twelve, and you want to spend. I'll spend three to get another down from that to nine. Freak eight. Should I spend another XP, or just let whatever's about to happen? Happen. I'll spend another. XP. Oh no. <laughs> 16. Okay. So So what did you get? I haven't rolled yet. Because I'm going to use this to bring it down one. Okay. Then I have that free asset because I held my turn. Okay. So that brings you down to a nine. And I have a speed asset right here still for defense or movement. I'm going to use it for defense so and burn that. Take it down to a six and go ahead and cross that off. Eleven. Nice. Amara? Um, eighteen. Eighteen? Yep, yeah. What'd you get for your speed defense roll? I got an eleven plus three, that's fourteen. <laughs> How much do I owe? All right. So as you're all standing there discussing what's going on, one of them screams like a banshee, running up to Yip Yap and grabbing hold of him and exploding. What? Five she damage. She wants me. Before armor. <laughs> so give me two of your greens. 
She wants me. Well, she gone now. She ghosted me. She ghosted you, man. She she was aggressive. She keeps right. attacking you. She will ghost you. <laughs> so, now there are three surrounding. And we are to your turn again, guys. This is Rogoth, Noel, and Yip Yap. Um... So which one is the real we one? We still know which one's the real one, right? She hasn't done anything. Uh, these two know because okay. he knows and he's shaking Rogoth saying, please, will you just attack this one with the dirty shoes? But maybe not now that he knows which one she is. Yeah. Are you going to lust her? If we're back around to me, I'm going to yes. use the cipher on her. I wonder if all of her projections will also get lusty. That'd be interesting. Uh well, now they will. <laughs> well, <laughs> I don't know. It'd be I'm about to attack. Yeah, just let that happen. Okay. Just let it happen. Save the last room just in case. Um, yeah, I mean, we'll see what happens with this with that. All right. Well, Want to go bloodthirsty? Smash. I'm going to smash. Smash dirty shoes? Yeah, smash dirty shoes with a sword. <laughs> she has dirty shoes because he threw pocket sand that's what I was oh. trying to do too <laughs> <laughs> oh. uh, this phase name is Jennifer Walters uh, alright and I'm so specialized that knocks it down by 2 alright so you would go from 15 to 9 alright 13. Smashing ensues. Tally up your damage, please. That'd be 10. 10 damage. And I'm going for the ribs. Because I want to pierce them long. Oh. Broken bones. <laughs> so he Very does. Random. <laughs> he takes out his adamantine uh, claymore. He pulls back and he goes, Rah! and just punctures right into her chest as she then falls to the ground, her eyes kind of rolling in her head. She <laughs> grabs this gaping wound against her chest. These two illusions fade away as she falls to her knee. This doesn't sound like <laughs> Here it is. <laughs> it didn't, it, at that point, it just didn't seem necessary. All right, so she's barely hanging on to life, uh, bleeding on the ground. Can I tell her sucks to suck? Shouldn't have been mean. Sucks yeah. to suck. <laughs> yeah. I feel um, accomplished. I didn't do anything, but I feel accomplished. Meanwhile, you got blowed up. Bogoth is like this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. So, anybody else want to say any or heal or do anything to this this Fey lady before Rogoth continues Wait. on bloodthirst? Um. I'll tell her. I'm gonna. Tell her, I'm going to say, I'll heal you if you apologize. Can it, what'd she say? She apologized for being mean. <laughs> All I think about right now is South Park. Apologize. apologize. No, not the principal. <laughs> not the principal. Um, apologize. She, she looks at you and says, I'm sorry, fellow fey creature. Okay, I'm not healing you, but thanks. Use my fast talk and persuasion to try to get some information out of her. Oh, okay. Although I'm not totally sure what information we need from her. Um, Maybe the location of... She probably live in here. We just killed her. How mean of us. Or whatever's causing this. Yeah. Yeah. That okay. sounds good. Roll it against the 12. Do it. Intellect base, right? So you already have fast talk and... I can that's... bring it down to a 3. Roll me a 3. 18. All right. So she looks at you. You're, you're basically saying, what, what's causing this? Yeah. The whole land was poisoned by the stars that fell from the sky. But the great goddess, she grew angry and came back from the dead. Namir sits upon a throne of sin. There in that castle, her poisoned heart. Foreseeing the fall of the land, she sacrificed so much to defend. 
is what continues to poison this land. Her heart? Yeah. Poison heart. Where's that at? Did you already tell us? Round about <laughs> the chest the area. <laughs> she said a chest? Is that what she said? You mean her location? Yeah. I pointed at the castle and said over there. Let's go over there. You were reading a fey magic book when I was talking. Yeah. <laughs> I was making notes in my... Uh, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, margin. I'm not even going to try to... As he continues talking Sorry. to her, this <laughs> sword just kind of like drops down in front Can of him. anybody try and <sighs> talk to Rogoth? Nope. He's trying to heal the fey chick. No, I lied. I wasn't going to heal her. I just wanted an apology. <laughs> I just wanted he just an apology. Wanted apologies. He talked to her about <sighs> location, so yeah, just rolled against a 12. Roll her down. You have melee, don't you? Specialized smashing. Yeah, so. Six. Uh oh. Specialized in smashing. 19. Yeah. On the lady. So um, basically, <laughs> yeah. as she's kneeling in front of you and she's saying, Over here is where you can purify everything. <laughs> Just like those larcenists in the woods. I don't know if you remember that when he split him in half. Yeah. It's what? His Larcenous. Signature move. I don't remember that. She just falls apart. And as the two halves hit the ground, you see this black ooze kind of like seep away from her and back into the ground, and then her remains too kind of turn into... It's like the embers that fly away from a bonfire. That's way better than glitter. Sorry about the glitter thing from before. <laughs> embers <laughs> glittering. <laughs> yes, she fades into... Microplastics. <laughs> I, I apologize. Uh, so she fades into embers that kind of like drift across the wind into the eternal fire. Great now, job. great job, Rogoth. Rogoth. Mm. We're going to go ahead and start off with you rolling it. 17. Oh, yeah. So you're good. You regain yourself. Man, you're way better at that than Kenrick ever was. Well. I guess because he was also a monster, but that's yeah, fine. He was also All right. A monster. So she has pointed the way. Towards the tower where Namir sits, Namir's tower. Now that my blood thirst is situated, she's pointing in two directions. <laughs> she was, yeah. She was pointing in two directions. Which direction? Towards the tower thing. Yeah, towards the castle. I think it was oh. a castle. Okay. She just kind of fell apart. <laughs> well, are we going to... Are we going? Yeah. Are we going to like, take a rest real quick? Or... Um, sure. Does anybody need one? No. I, I could use some intellect. No, here. I'm yeah. chilling. Here. Taking some... Uh... I've taken like three damage, but I'm fine. Wait a second. It's free. I'll take it. What's free? The rest, the recovery roll. One action. That's free. Yeah, you can do that. Oh, shoot. My pencil. Then roll a d6. Um, this looks like six. The square. A two. Plus your tier. Plus your tier. So what tier? A are one. You? You're, a, you're a first tier? Mm-hmm. So three. You get to pick which three I give back to you. Do you want to? Um, give me all might. All might. Mm-hmm. All right, somebody's watching He's Hero here. Academia. What? I want six and please. Oh. I am here. Me too. God, I love him. All Might's amazing. There you go. Hey, finish watching that show. How many do we roll? How many? I'm sorry. You roll a D6 and add your tier. Roll a D6 and add your tier to it. So you're a tier two, so you would roll a D6 and add two to it. I'll take... um. I'll take back those three int. Because I roll a one. There you are, sir. Sure. 
Yeah, why is that not? Whatever. We'll just do it this way. It's fine. Everything is fine. I'm ready to go fight another god. Yeah. If someone I asks wish we had a full party. <laughs> We never have a full party when we're fighting big things. All right, I'm prepared. And maybe you are prepared as well, and we'll find out. I almost died, like, when we fought the dragon. Oh, you mean the one that I expertly slayed? I remember that. The one that had you frozen in fear on the other side of the city? That wasn't me. That was my clone that I strategically placed. That was, that was the illusion. It was so convincing that even my teammates, my own party, thought. Can I get another cipher? Do I have to wait till the end of this? Yeah, you'd have to wait until like a long rest or something. Um, I sip some more mead. So I'm assuming you're all walking towards the tower then? I am. Yes. Yes. We are walking. All right. And as you approach the tower, you can definitely feel uh, the, the, the weight in your chest as you approach this place is almost as if it's hard to breathe. You, the closer you become, the more your heart pounds, your lungs constrict, you cannot think of anything other than the fact that you would want to normally run away from this and you question your sanity for even coming here um, but you do enter and as you enter into the tower it's a tower so there are stairs rickety old steps that seem to twine around with walls kind of you know just falling apart uh, you can see out from them as you're continuing to try and climb and leap from like one step to another until you get to. Can you hand me the book? I can. Until you get to the third story of this place. And you walk into a chamber and you notice that there is like a golden throne. It's not, it doesn't match. The surroundings almost seems imposing here. And sitting upon that throne is a visage of a visage woman. Another oh, one. Now this one might be. Another one. This one might be the last one. Uh, try not to imagine the dragon behind this one because it's already dead. Oh. But the female. That is what you see with the uh, kind of an albino tone. That's um, the dragon we killed? Yeah, well, that would be what it would look like when it was alive. Rafa. So this is Ymir? This or is, Namir? This is Namir. She seems to be sitting there. She's got like a um, kind of a pale hue. Uh, well, she might, is she like does tall? Does she look like this or does she look corrupted? She is. Her eyes are definitely black, and all around the eye seems to be like uh, like those poisonous veins, infection veins what growing level out is from she? her eye. Well, she hasn't started attacking us yet, so. But I just want to know if you can even muster. She is with a quick look and the tap of your scouter. Do do. Level nine. Oh. Huh. Nine. She is a lover. I think we should talk to her. No. <laughs> <laughs> I think we should, yeah. Yip yap her over here. Says, let's try to talk about Let's her. think this through. You know what? Uh, maybe I can't use the cipher, but I believe in myself. I think I should do the talking. I, I think, think I can still <laughs> cast <laughs> lust into her heart if I truly wanted to. But I'm not going to try right now. I could, but I'm not. I have a plan. I could do it, but... Hold on. Maybe when we bring her to. benchmark down. Like, so if we do something to bring her benchmark down a few tiers. Maybe She's at a 38. She's at a 38. Wait, no. 27. She's mm -hmm. at a 27 right now. 
I don't think there's much we can do. Yeah, I don't think we're prepared for this at all. I think we... Well, that's why we need to talk to her. Actually, no, I'm not going to smack her tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, let's talk to her. I'm going to say, Miss, let me let me talk to you real quick. I have a question for you. Okay. Has she said anything to us? She's just looking at us? We're, oh. we're resolving the fact that he's just run out. Okay, so she's... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's go through the paces here. Okay. So there she is. We're and pacing. then Yip Yap runs over. And you've got the three of y'all, uh, Noel, Amara, and Rogoth, kind of like at the back of the room. Like, what is he doing this Just time? Just don't wink at us because you stole some hardware batteries. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? All right. Um, So her benchmark's at 27. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And you're trying to gaslight her? No. What are you trying to do up there? What are you trying to do? How, well, are, you, how are you moving forward with... Well, I guess it would be... Yeah. Here. I, wait, no, I guess it would be gaslighting. I, how do you want I, to improve your ability to speak to this person as much as possible? Um, I'm not going to bring it down to you. Are you helping? You can't roll if you just bring it down one tier. Right. But are you helping him with your thing? I don't know if I want to help him or not. What are you doing? What are you going to say? Um, I haven't gotten that far. Let's get that far. This is real guy's This expression. is the moment no, to get No, I come there. up with something. I come, all right, I thought As Yip Yap runs up there, this is real guy's expression. Better not be some smart aleck thing. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that's exactly what it was. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's, a, it's a white, shrewd, grumpy face. All right. I could try to talk to her. Yeah, I think this is above my level. We could, <laughs> we could bring it down to, you know, into the teens, but it would still be a high. Can role. I compliment her? So okay. then she gets if nice. With I'll me. help you on talking to her. I think we got to bring it down, or we can't do anything. I mean, like, he's we, already run in there, so we got to wait for him to do whatever. He yeah. does. I say, I say, miss. He is on impulse, so this is on him now. If you assist him, then we can talk about. What okay, we're fine. At. I assist you. What are you gonna say? I'm okay. So from there, I'm not with him. that brings it to twenty-four. So you're down to twenty-four, and then you're trying to use okay what? He's using. You have nothing that would let you do this. All you have is melee. Mm -hmm. What is he specialized in? Melee. melee. Mm -hmm. I'm, not, I'm not much of a talker. Pickpocket. Okay, so pieces. then if you, he's not even he's not even trained in his talking skills or anything. No. no. They're not even on his list. All right. So how many? <laughs> he's tier one how many efforts still. do you have? He's one. Still a tier one. Like the one edge. Mm-hmm. Well, oh. I think it's a no-win situation. So, I have devised a plan. Well, he can't even roll, right? Right, yeah. You can't really roll. Well, no, no, no. So, I don't have to gaslight, do I? No. You can't roll to do so anything again. Do I need to roll to be able to say anything to her? I mean, you can talk. You're just okay, not okay, going to okay. get the bonus of actually succeeding in a roll. So, nothing I say... You can talk. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. You're allowed to speak. It's just the effect that it's going to have upon her is not necessarily going to be... A good thing. A good thing. Well, oh, well, I'll talk to her. Okay, okay. So I'm walking up, I'm prancing knee. up to her. I say, hey, miss, I need to ask you something. Or rather, tell you something. My friend over here, and I point to Noel, I say, we travel all of this way just to talk to you. Because you are so great. Huh? What's she say? Okay. <laughs> That's, that's my whole speech. That was pretty good, actually. I said, but, it wasn't but bad. <laughs> there's a note that says yes or no, circle one, <laughs> if you want to talk to him. <laughs> it's and, really, and, it's totally in the swap. And then pass it back to me, and I'll go and take it back to him. <laughs> Small creature. Mm hmm You are so confused. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Quite distasteful. Mm hmm And you offend me. What? what I do? I say this <laughs> land so that something so vile, so tactless, 
can run amok. Mm-hmm. I think I may have made a mistake. I mm-hmm. lost everything of value to me so that you would be the creature that survived. No, uh, I'm, I am but just a humble servant taken <laughs> from my homeland. I am forced to serve and Look Look how sad I am. I'm literally shivering because I'm so cold. Are you going to try to do anything? I was going to set him on fire. Him? Yeah. Oh, let's not set him on fire. I say, I say I'm, I'm forced to serve because us ugly, nasty creatures are only good for serving, yeah? I like how he's just rolling with me. So now he, you're, you're just begging in front of her, like pleading no, not, no, to serve? No, not, not shameful, no. You're making it sound weird. Well, it's kind of sounding like you're getting down bad. Like maybe. No, no, no. I mean, in a in a humble way, in a humble. Humbly and, simping. Got and, it. No, no, it's not cool. Simping. It's cool. It's cool. I mean, I'd be afraid right, of if I got a simp, so this lady won't kill me. Who cares? Okay. Right. <laughs> All right. So he's kneeling down now. No, um, I never said I kneel. I stand straight up. My whole sixteen inches tall. Gotcha. Well, does she seem? I guess. It, it would be up to our perception. She's like an angry she, mother right now. Whether she seems... She seems really disgusted with his presence at this moment. That's all you're picking up. Okay. Other than the fact that she has, you know, black veins growing out of pitch black. Uh, kind I don't know like about that. Shark eyes. Like, maybe she is not as cor- corrupted as we think she is. She's got black veins. What do you think? She's pumped up on something. She's talking to you about saving. She the... is speaking, and she did say that she saved this place, and she's disgusted that he got to be what lives in it. I'll try to. T- I'll try to talk to her. All right. Um, and again, like her benchmark starts out at twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. So. Good luck. I can bring it down to. And since he couldn't actually roll, Amara does have her benefit of using her help because there's no way he could have rolled. Mm-hmm. He had nothing. So, Amara, are you going to try to help Noel? Yes. I can bring it down myself to a 19. 18. I can bring it down to an 18. All right, so what are you running off of? You've got <coughs> specialized in interaction, correct? Um, I've got, well, I mean, I've got skilled in persuasion. Right, so that's down by six. I do have trained in social interaction, if that also helps. We're going to use the one skill. and then That's what I was going to say. Can I use multiple skills? Can't stack the skills like that. So you've got your persuasion is your highest one, so use the highest one. Yeah. That brings it down by six, and then you've got your edge, I'm assuming you're going to use. That'll bring it down. So that'll bring it down nine total from... So. 27, 27, 18. So that's 18, and then she's giving you the benefit, so that brings it down to a 15. And then I'll spend... Not really that unrealistic to attack, And then is you it? can spend some. Yeah, yeah, I'll spend some. Okay. But he and um, I are both tier two. Like, it might be... I know. I'm just saying. Well, if everybody was here every session, I'm sure everybody would be tier two. So that brings it down to a... <laughs> 12? I'm just saying, like, that's how it's built. Yeah. Oh, wait, no. Yeah. yeah. I'm at a 12. I could spend three more to bring it down. You could bring two. You could spend you have two enough more. It two to more. Do that. Now hold on, because you already used your free edge, right? Yeah. So actually, give me one more chip, and that brings it down. Because how many efforts do you have? Three. Three. Okay, so this is your three efforts that you've used. First one costs three. The two additional after that cost two apiece. So okay. four total you're giving me right now. So. 18 to you brought it down to 15 so then you bring it down to bring it to a nine that would bring it to a nine don't say it just roll it it really isn't that unrealistic to approach 27 it is not it just costs <laughs> nobody breathe here nobody say here words. we go just nobody breathe 11 Whoa! All right. <laughs> okay. So you are speaking to her now. What are you? What's your opening statement as she is swatting away this thing that keeps trying to like hold on to her leg and tell her that he is built to serve? <laughs> Please ignore this creature. Though he is with us, he's not really with us. If you know what I'm saying. Uh, we recently purified the ore that tainted the 
what are the land whatever we were at. <laughs> nope, Nymoria, named after me. <laughs> yes, I am yes. Nymoria. I believe we may be able to do the same thing here in this land. You seem intent on saving it. That's what we're here for also. Hmm. I did want this land saved. A darkness long before the fall of the stars. I raged against it. I even battled with my own brethren, the high circle of the elves, the alpha. I stood against them and saved your kind. And even my greatest ally, my one true heart, my dragon, Rafa, fell. His bones be preserved and never to be tainted or broken in any way. Nobody mentioned yes. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. I was so thinking. you've come to me to say this, that you wish to help me purify this land completely. That is exactly what we're here to do. <laughs> Hey, I wouldn't be standing here in this tower in front of you if I didn't come to hell. That's true. I sense the honesty in your voice. And I've also heard the words of the unspoken ether. It whispers to me. It lets me know that there is a darkness growing from Alpha Toon. It is a poison well. And even further than that, to the north, there is great destruction being built with machines, machinations unlike this world should ever see. You ally yourself to me. Her chair's a little squeaky. Her chair squeaks as she leans back <laughs> in her golden throne. Uh, hey, how long have you been in here by yourself? Oh, what's a thousand years between friends? A thousand? You must have gotten pretty bored. Hey, here's a copy of my new book, Pale Essential <laughs> Faith for a Weird World and Other Musings. It might keep you entertained until we can come back. A believer of Aiden. Cute. I know his sigils well. My father, though, Wosha is the true seated father of the gods. Yeah, well, Aiden's been helping us this whole time. Wosha hadn't done a thing. I step up, excuse me. <laughs> yes, he has. I would like to reiterate, Wosha hasn't done a Can we thing. not piss her off by talking about her dad <laughs> poorly? She's All literally right. about to let us go. <laughs> These are the tasks I would set before you. All right, hold on. Let me write this down. You would return to the plains of Ratha and ensure that my allies' bones remain undisturbed or damaged in any way. Yes, I, I cover, saw those. I cover I you against now. I believe they are right where you left them. Don't say anything and hide your stabby stick. Stabby stick. We're about to Venture forth. To Alpha Tune, that is spelled A L F A R T U N N. Alpha Tune. She's lucky she wasn't talking back to me. Oh, so be cool. I've covered your mouth. You can't talk. Remove the poison from the Feywells. If you can complete this task, then I will ally with you in your venture north to Mordenaith so that you can remove the alien creature by alien i mean something that does not belong to another place verify the remains of your friend how just go see him you protect rafa's remains mm -hmm. by all means necessary allow no damnable creatures to disturb his bones or damage them in any way. If I find out that his bones were desecrated, I would take and light a fire in that creature's soul until it burns through eternity and returns to the hell whence it came. 
Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I got you. <laughs> Don't worry. Hey, I will be your number one advocator. If anyone crosses the remains, I will deal with them personally. I will have a deep talking to about doing the right thing, and we'll go from there. You put, hear a strange murmuring. I kind of cloak over his uh, statue. You hear a strange so murmuring from Yip Yap as he continues to try and talk pleasantly to her and kiss her shoes at the same time. No, I'm not kissing her shoes anymore. No, I'm, got, I'm, like, sure. I'm like holding on to him trying to get him to I, not do anything. At crazy. one point, his mouth was sealed shut. Is it possible you could <laughs> do that as well? I'm about to show her the bone if you do that. Ouch. Don't show me the bone. <laughs> and also, that sounds dirty. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was fine until you said that. Um, now, as you're talking to her, does anybody want to roll just a base perception before you make any deals? I got. No, the perception isn't against her, but like more so just like noticing things around the room. I'll set that difficulty at 15. I rolled 11. I can roll. I'm trained. A 14. 12. For what? That is actually <laughs> on point. <Perception>. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so as you're speaking to her, you do uh -oh. notice that there seems to be an amulet of some kind hanging around her neck. There is a very darkened ore embedded in that amulet. It nestles... In the nether regions of her decolage. chest, her decollage. <laughs> it you rests within snatch. her decollage. Don't snatch it. We're not gonna do anything. In a fat liquor. We're not gonna do anything to this woman. Just so you know, that seems to be there. That's the source of her corruption. There's also many a blade sheathed uh, upon her body. I believe we should leave here and sigils and blades. And go to Al Cartoon. <laughs> Let's go. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. We love you. Read this book though, because. It's his book. It's cute. He wrote it. I signed it's, the back. She holds it up for you. and goes like this with her hand real quick, and a wind gusts across the pages as they flip forward. That was a good book. It says a lot about hot dogs in there. Dang! You do like hot dog water do quite a bit. Do you want to try a hot dog? You saw a hot dog. No, like yeah, pocket hot dog. my pocket dog. <laughs> Whoa. Never mind. Give her the pocket dog. <laughs> we'll bring one back to you. Then I will do you one final assistance. She begins to form a sigil upon the ground. And from that, fey energy erupts forth. And a doorway seems to split in reality. <gasps> Step through this doorway. And you can go directly to Alpha 2. All right, I'll run, jump in. It will take you to the outer rim of the forest. Cause I'm jumping in portal. <laughs> yep, yep. He gone. He where? just jumped in. Mm -hmm. I don't know what happened. <laughs> where does it? Where does it go? <laughs> <laughs> it goes to where we need to go. So to she the edge of the forest. Hey, could you possibly open the, up a separate one that takes <laughs> us somewhere else? <laughs> You're so mean. Yeah. <laughs> Hurt his feelings. Hey, he threw me. I'm like a bull. Earlier. All right, so this would take you to Are the, you the Tearman Wood. If you go to the actual pin messages, you should be able to see uh, the map of the area. I love that our quick reaction is a hot dog. So there's Tearman Wood. This is where the portal would take you, and then within Tearman Wood would be the so ancient tree. So it's taking tree. us to like where this little road is up here or where so like here's the here's the autumn veil where this fork in the river is right that's... the autumn veils on this side you're in the the yes. ruins of leonor over here yes this portal is basically going to take you to the opposite side of the sheehan river it's going to take you directly into the tearman woods mm. and then al fartoon is nestled within the sheehan mountains up here and that is the the most ancient tree that the Alfar worship in that area. I have always personally, as a my character, wanted to see this forest. Because I've been studying the Fae forever and this is a Fae Woods. 
This oh, adventure has just culminated in all sorts of things that you've always dreamed of. Well, you're welcome. I'm glad that you talked to her. You're good at that. Okay, I so... I stepped through the portal. You too stepped through the portal. Woohoo! I'll go through. See you later, big guy. No, he would have asked. I'm not going to leave him behind. Well, he just they has to decide to walk. They would have held hands in Rogal, the portal. Rogoth, take my hand. <laughs> He's still standing at the portal. Take my hand, Rogoth! <laughs> <laughs> I just sigh. I take his hand. <sighs> All right. So as you step through the portal, you look behind you and the woman that probably could have very easily been the death of all of you uh, is left behind in the ruins of Leonore. And you find yourself and a face planted yip yap on the ground. Huh? What? What happened? He jumps up. And you look around to the thickly. Uh, There's a. Do you want me to send a picture for this? Yeah, one? you can show so, show a picture of the woods. Oh, how far to? This is the dock. So these are now the Terman woods that you have come to, and you're trying to get to the great tree Alfar Tomb. So I guess I could just share this brief history of Memoria with everyone. You um, could. But instead, I'm just going to send a picture. Okay, you could do that too. <laughs> That's either which one. I think it's a fair, if they, I think they already have access to the memorial brief history. They don't. They don't. That was a... In the, in the docks. Biggest debate. Of the drive. Thought it was in the drive, wasn't it? I think it is. Um, Maybe it is. The, the brief history of the Fey War is not uh, accessible. But. Uh, that's right. Okay. Um, so... I'll just send these two. All right, so this is where we currently are right now. I was about to die. Shocking. It's another one you'll have to kind of zoom in on. Um, very different. This is what the Autumnville used to look like um, before. These are like huge towering trees. You can kind of see like how big these things are like these would be like you know redwood kind of size trees they're, they're huge um and then this is where we're headed or where we need to go so it's a standing stone circle at the base of this humongous tree all right so uh like i said very large ancient trees like the size of the the red oaks of, of california i can't believe we got out of that situation without fighting her that was amazing well so regretting that yeah those are 27 uh, starting out but like i said when you spend your points wisely i could have lowered it like twice <laughs> that's it but if you spend your points wisely and you're 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 using what you're specialized in you can really approach something difficult and manage to get out of it with some intelligence. Well, and to be fair, he has a, a bunch of intellect, so like he has enough to spend. He's built to yeah. talk his way out of situations. Yep. yep. I'm built to talk my way in situations, huh? You're built to slap. <laughs> if you had gone to slap her, you probably could have brought her down just as much as he did. We could have given her to her. Well, yeah, I have a six, and I bring it down, minus nine, to 18. So you could have hit her like once. after my... My Not with my roll. With you, my you could have hit her once. Like p potentially, you could have hit her once. Yeah, that's a ten percent chance. Have them on the, like, right, on but the even time. if you did hit her, you, what damage you're putting out, and then how much health? Would well, that be eight? eight dogs and unknown. Very well. No six, sixteen. It's an unknown. How much health did she have? have? Can you tell me? It's an unknown. So. All right. Here we are. Here you are in the great woods. Now. What time are we at? Just so I'm. Just so I know, like. You're about 30 minutes till we wrap up. Okay. It's time for us to venture into the forest. These are forests are so beautiful. I love it. I've always wanted to see this forest. Wait, can you show me what looks like my phone died? I've been rocking at 10% really this whole die session. Or are you just too lazy to pick No, it it's at like 2%. It looks and like, in case my mod texts me. It looks like Fern Gully. What? It's like in Middle Africa. No, and. It's huge. Those huge are huge, though. Yeah, yeah, like the red in oak, Africa, like the red oak trees of California, the ones like that the you size can drive of this room through would be like a tree trunk. The size of this house, I think, would be the size of a tree. That trunk. big one that we're going to, yeah. Yeah. 
For real? Yeah. For real. That's carbon dated. Let's see what it is. How old is it? Do you have carbon? No, nope, you sure don't. All right, let's, I can, let's <laughs> walk through this forest. You see I'm specialized in awesomeness, though? Sure, Do we, okay, sure so I'm gonna, I want to use my fey magic and perception to try to see if I see any, or there we go. any nice, friendly fey creatures. Because okay. I feel like I want to meet one. No, I got a four. She did not perceive anything. Does hey, anybody I'm else? I'm too awestruck by this place. I'm like, uh, let me try to perceive something. What should I perceive, man? Mm. Set the base at 15. Got a 12. Nothing. I don't see nothing except my two feet. All right. Anybody else? I guess. Uh, roll. <laughs> if you want to try to perceive anything, is the path here pretty well? Or is it just there's it no path? There's no real path. It's the middle of the woods. You can basically see if you can find anyone to speak to or away towards this. So we don't know like what what direction we need to go in right now. Humans do not venture into this place. Especially yeah. like Generally from the speaking. back end. Like we kind of came in through the booty of the woods here. <laughs> like you are in the wooded booty. There's no, the path is the other side of the woods. We came in the back door. All right. It's everywhere. Roll a nine. What was it? 15? You said 15. You rolled okay. a nine? Oh. Yeah, I can't. All right, well, so we're Rogue just... Off. I rolled a four. We can't oh, really see anything. goodness. So we don't know. We're, I'm just going to start walking. So for the next few hours, you're wandering about and having a real hard time of it. You're, you can't quite figure out what's going on. Hello? Um, Anybody here? Finally, something appears before you. You wanderers. You have ventured into Terraman Woods, and I am glad that you have. Oh, it's this guy. I have been seeking out... It's Obi-Wan Kenobi. ...someone who can assist me. He didn't say hello there. I'm mad. We can do what? assist you. What do you need assistance He didn't say... Go, hello there. Hello, I'm hello mad. there. <laughs> no. Uh, well, my name is Florian, and I have uh, discovered something of that has put me at unease. I am currently there now, but I am projecting my visage to you so that I can seek out help. These Fay Wells, the Fay Well that lies beneath the Alpha Tune, the Great Mother Tree, is poisoned. Is poisoned with the darkness of the land. If you can venture forth, I will send my light. This visage before you will turn into a guiding light to take you directly to the great tree, the great mother tree. If you follow its path, be warned. The guardian of the tree has gone mad. I am currently here trying to hold her in a state of stasis. If I divide too much of my attention, I'm sure to fail. But with your assistance, you great warriors and that small creature, you should be able to assist me in purifying the guardian and the great tree. Okay. Okay. He has agreed. What a brave soul. There would be other Grammans or Brahmins here, I think. There's like a lot of different fake creatures. Yeah, yeah be like one the, would be like running around another tree like, <laughs> Oh, look at that one. He's real tall and skinny. <laughs> I can tell whether he is telling the truth or not. So You could. Is he? Is he? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Do um, his spiritual energy is blue. That's all we can see. And you trust it. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, if you want to roll against him to see if he's telling you the truth, you can. He is so honest. He is like the most pure spirit. You actually like want to step into his spiritual energy and like I'm splash gonna it all over thing. yourself. Hey, what happens if I stand right here? Huh, this is strange. You kind of see, he seems to be like glowing blue as they're like in unison right now. He's standing inside his energy. Well, hey guys, I've been inside him. I think we can trust him. <laughs> so strange. Like a hug from the inside. Okay. The light transforms. 
and focuses down into like one floating orb of bright blue light that then starts dancing across the air, guiding you hey. through the forest. What's that thing say in Zelda? Hey. Listen. listen! Hey! Listen! listen. I'm listening. Except this one does it sounds more like an old cranky man. Hey, listen. Okay. This way. All right. Hey, we're coming, man. I can't. Where are you? You're a floating we? blue orb. So you would actually approach the roots of the tree now. This one, as stated, when you clear through the woods, would be one of the largest trees you've ever seen. The roots of it would be the size of trees. And they are, like, if you can imagine where it is, there's, like, structures and stones built in underneath this tree. So the tree itself, like, has a cavern below it not like dug out but like underneath it so its roots wrap around that cavern and the stones the standing stones stand around that and you can see that there seems to be a druva kneeling down in the middle of those stones and someone standing before him way to do that um but i, I thought these were your people um is it a man or a woman in front of the dude why the corrupted it, thing why does it matter <laughs> uh, she, she has a very feminine shape what's her level hold please there's two different her number. documents you, you asked for her number yeah, yes well her digits just let me know if I can hey. cast lust upon her. Right, that's what I'm asking for. <laughs> I'll do. I'll do my mating dance. She's a level six. It's a level six cipher. You could. There's an opportunity. Um, do we need to roll initiative to do anything here, or are we just walk in? There? You are walking. Like he's already in. told us that she's evil, right, or that she's. Ma she's gone mad or she's something. a mad guardian. Yeah, she is corrupted. Mad. He is one trying to hold her at bay. And we would recognize him as the one kneeling in front of her because of his he is the visage. Well, he still looks the same. He's just not glowy blue he's now. He's real. Blue. Yeah. Okay, so we know that he's on the ground and that this one's corrupted. Yes. And from your ancient knowledge of the land history books that you have read, you would know that this, this fae is known as Vila. Vila Fay. Okay. She was one of the most swift swords women in all the land. I don't remember that. I think I forgot that page in my studies. Oh, did you? I did. Then I take that back. You don't get to know that. Yeah, I don't think I know that. Scratch that from the record. Um, it is redacted. All right. So I don't really want to do anything because we haven't, like... Or we're just gonna walk past her. We gotta go towards them. That's so let's walk past her briskly, and quickly, and with a purpose. If you don't say something quick, though, he's gonna say something. Hmm. Huh? So I think somebody's gonna say something. I can try. Yeah, I'll try to talk to her. What are we at? She's just a six. She's a level six. Um, that makes her an 18. An 18? She is an 18. She is an intelligent creature. So I can bring her, I can bring it down to a nine. You can bring that it down to a nine thing. to talk without just immediately being attacked. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll, I'll talk to her. And I can do an assist too, so... That okay. would bring it down to a six. Well, I rolled a five, so. Oh. Everybody roll initiative. Oh, no. A three. Nine. Twenty. Wait, I rolled a three. Well, we know what's going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> Rogos would be at the top of the turn. I feel like that's what needed to happen. Yeah, anyway. honestly. So, Rogos, this is what I want you to imagine. So, there's this... this Kind of the Druva, which, you know, are like monks. 
and he's in his robes and he's kneeling on the ground. He's got like a staff that he's like using to support himself. And it seems like all of his mental energy is drained as he is using it to keep this one entity, this woman uh, clad in Alfar armor with two very regal Alfar blades that she has now unsheathed the second that he walks up and says, uh, excuse me. She just goes, shh like this and she's now holding those blades outright like she is like about to do when Hella like does her whole like headdress but with less horns she just has these swords so she has pulled them he seems to be straining harder to keep her at bay and she looks as though she is about to perform the fey blade dance alright I'm Rogoth you got this I'm going to give him a I can assist. assist. Yeah. Okay, I was going to say, I could, I could So do she's a level six. That puts her at a 18 difficulty. Okay. We're Starting both out. assisting you. Mine isn't okay. going to use an action. His will. Okay, so that's a minus six. So that's put her down to 12. Smashing. Can I use my action Some... to give him plus two damage too? No. Hold on a second. He's going, then she's going, then all of you get a turn. Oh, so all I can do is help him. I can't. All you can do is your free hit, because okay. you have a free assist that okay. you can put in. So he can't help him either. I can't help Yeah, once it comes around, then he can, like, push forward his turn. Like, he can hold a turn and, like, add that as an asset to somebody. You just have this miraculous ability that's an enabler that allows you to do it ahead of time out of turn. We think. As far as it reads, yeah. it does look like that's exactly what it says. So that's why she can kind of just like raise her hand and say like, All right. this so it's, freebie. That brings she has it down a freebie to asset, asset that she can give. But so once it's your turn, mistake. yeah, okay. like you can be like, mm, I'm not really going to dance with this lady, but he is. Or so she's is. somewhat distracted by me anyway. She doesn't look like the distractible type. We should have busted her. I tried. This is totally like now your arena though, so start focusing. You don't have to talk to this one. Okay, I'm focused. I just go smack her. Yeah. Is that simple? Let him, let him go first, and then you can smack. Her. All right, so she's down to a 15 from the assist. Okay. Specialized in smashing, so that brings it down six more to, so a, nine. to, to a nine. And I'm spending. I have one edge in might, so I'm spending two. Six. Bring it down to a six. Okay. Nineteen. <laughs> All right. So nine. nineteen. This will allow you three additional points of damage or a minor effect. So that minor effect could be providing an asset to the next turn by Bring the next down person. Benchmark or is that a major effect? Uh, ma that would be a major. Oh. So a major. you could provide an asset to the next person that attacks. Or just do um, a bunch of damage. I'm just going to do a bunch of damage. Okay. So that's three additional damage points onto your total, which is a 10, correct? Yeah, so it'd be 13. 13 total. Okay. I should try to attune this time. Attune? Yeah. It hurts me if I don't do it right. All right. As soon as she mm -hmm. starts walking towards... And it's intelligence. No. I just rush up there and swing the claymore and go, No, ma'am! <laughs> That's pretty good. All right. So when he when he strikes out and he slices through a portion of her body, what you see occur, like as there's like this gash in her side, and like you cut through her arm, so like this one arm starting to fall, and then like these pure black tendrils stretch out from the, the gaping wound and bring it back together. So like as the arm's about to fall, she got a these like black tendrils reach out to it and then pull it back up so into its place. Your venom shirt. She was symbiote. Actually, Jackson walked <laughs> in, opened my t-shirt drawer and said, you're wearing venom tonight. So I did. Uh, but yes, so these tendrils have like replaced her arm. Where so he where did damage? He did damage. But, but you can tell that something like there... It is like keeping her together 
right. So now she All right. Goes. So now it is her turn. What kind of defense do we want? Is it a 20? <laughs> no. Oh. Unless you want it to count, then. There you go. We're rolling speed, I'm guessing? Uh, yeah, Fast. speed defense. All of us? Yes, everyone. I rolled a 16 plus 3. I got a 9. I got 19. I've got a 13 with my ass up. 19. I got a 10. 19? Not with mm -hmm. my Thanks. Plus my ass up. Hang oh, on a second. I think he'll be next. Or 10. Right? Maybe he'll be 10? Good. No, I yeah. rolled a 3 for initiative. And you yeah. said what? I rolled a 13. 13? So I've got the ass up. So that would... So she's an 18, so your okay. asset would have brought it to a 15. But I still rolled a 13. So you rolled a 13. I didn't hit it. I don't, I got like other. A, I should have. I think I got a 9. Speed. I rolled 19. Four, 19. A 16 plus 3. All right. So, basically, as you look around this place, you notice that with some fires, kind of like torches illuminating the area, all you can see is like some light and the rest is this shadow. And out from her shadow now erupts all of these tendrils, these dark tendrils that are grabbing onto you, casting you about, throwing you into the stone and to the wood and the roots of the tree. Uh, oh my God, this is so gross. <laughs> Rogoth has read a book like this once, terrified. All right, so that would be books. eight points damage before armor. Eight? Eight points damage before oh, armor. Oh, sucks to suck. Wait. <laughs> For these three. So that one, is Eight ten. points before armor. Well then. She seems pretty strong. What do you think? You gotta come right out of the might until he, he it runs down, it. unless it's from something. Even else. though she has these tendril things, like when he did her thirteen damage or whatever, he it hurt. I'm her. gonna try and jump on her. All right, so her oh wait, how much protection does chainmail do? Well, if What's I put my if I put my hands over her eyes, she can't see. I've got right? armor. Your job I already had right. chainmail. You gotta do your onyx blade. Basically, whatever the superior armor that you have. No, is, my slapping is four oh, damage. Stands. Yeah. So that Galvia armor that I gave I'll you explain. is the superior armor. Gotcha. Um, all right. So as these tendrils lash out and attack all of these regular height people, they lash out too high. Mm -hmm. At least two feet high. And there is Yip Yap. He starts running beneath all of these tendrils and di dodging and, and you roll? dagging that way and dolding 19, that way. Or 16 plus 3. 19. All right, so you are free. You are running about. What do you do? Okay, question for you. If I were to jump on her head and cover her eyes with my hands, would she be blinded? She would know you are there and probably just do this. Okay, but what, if I, but what if I dodge it? What if I dodge it? You dodge the tendrils. Do some damage, man. You're attacking. How do you attack? Okay, I forgot to attack. I just smack her with the onyx blade, of course. Okay. It means slice. All right. So, you need to roll against her 18. This would be a good... 18? Uh, to uh, try to attune to it, though. If you wanted to attune, attune to it. No, that's intelligence. That's a 15. I don't have anything that helps intelligence. Versus this, I can take it down to a 9 to hit her. Which would be much, much easier. How can you take it down to a nine? Versus the opportunity of wasting a turn How do you when take I could it down be doing. To a nine? I'm trained or er, specialized in melee and then I can do an edge. Oh yeah, and you can only spend one. Was he with he wasn't with us when we when we fought like the ooze creature the last time though, was it? Alright, do it. Mm -mm. I was doing important stuff. Quick. Yeah. So it's what do you say, a nine? Mm-hmm. A nine. That is a four. Spend this XP and reroll. But I'm trying to tear up. Do you think it's worth it? I mean, I don't know. We did 
a bunch of stuff. I think we'll get some XP. All right. I don't know. We might not if we're still in the middle of the battle, though. Shoot. I gotta finish this battle first. A 13. I did it. Because it's down All right. Home. So, you come down with the Onyx Blade to attack, right? Mm -hmm. All right. So, hand me the black one. The what? The black die. Oh, you're holding it. Okay. All right. So, Yip Yap runs up as all of these tendrils are lashing out against all of you, and he just smashes this thing right into her. Hey, go Yip Yap. So, as she's like sitting there and she's busy trying to attack all of you, he just out of nowhere just Yip Yap! Rah! And just like right into her skull. Mm -hmm. Nice. Is she dead? Yeah, yeah, that crushed her skull. Oh, for real? Oh, sweet. I, I thought she was stronger. She was, she was pretty strong, but uh, so was he did, and you. Like, Y'all both did like a ridiculous... No, I only did six. How much damage then? did they do? Six. Plus he did 13? Th yeah, 13. He did 13. So that's, I don't know how much, 19 damage? That is mm -hmm. one point higher than her health pool, yes. Wow. Hey, she's on 18 health. What you a crushed her. Now, as she starts to disintegrate... Just like you've seen so many times before, the black ooze is returning into the ground and her body becomes like embers upon the wind. Drew not glittery. Not glittery. Burning. <laughs> like Sanders. Can this guy stand up now? He stands over, up, he turns, and he looks at up. you and he says... You have done great deeds. Now I need your assistance to try and purify the darkness from this area. Everyone join oh hands together. Oh God, Where, can, I, can I heal first? Before we go somewhere, what are we doing? This is kumbaya moment. You either join hands Fine. and pray I with me or you give in to the darkness of the land and I you condemn us. Hands. Are you right, you do? You hold my hand too, you ugly little creature! I'm no longer holding your hand. You are! I have grabbed hold, hold of it. Dun, 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 <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Who, this, who are we praying to right now? Um, Whoever just pretend this it's man Aiden. says to pray to. Just pretend it's Aiden. Sometimes. Let me see real quick. I think it is. Sometimes actually, Jackson. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say my own prayer over here. Okay. Sometimes pray. Jackson's like, no, we need to pray what before we eat. And then he tells us what to pray to. Sometimes it's like Power Rangers or yeah. Venom. <laughs> what? Or he's like, no, to Venom. I'm like, okay. Is yes. <laughs> he like Venom? Yeah, that's his Halloween costume. Dear Lord Billy. Well, at least he's praying. <laughs> Lord of the Triceratops. <laughs> he invokes the powers of Wosha. Okay. As he does... You begin to chant. Now! Everybody give me me mental defense is what it would be. So just we'll mental defense roll. Most people should have an asset in it some way. Some people don't because they're just... I rolled a 19! I also roll a 19. 14. A 5. 14. How Ooh. did he roll higher than us on mental defense? Okay. So, yeah. as the darkness is pure purged, as he is doing the prayers and invocation of Wosha, the darkness does leap out and tries one final lashing attack as it wheezes into non-existence it was taken from this land it does lash out at your good friend Rogoth it's doing 8 damage to Ent to Ent hey. how many Ents do you have? there you go is it all 8? yeah so technically oh. you would be impaired then but so as the, the darkness lashes out Smashing through Rogoth and then burning away. Now you get your back here, mother. <laughs> That's a lot of curse words. 
<laughs> it burns away <laughs> as Rogoth falls to his knees and blood starts to drain from his nose. He seems to be kind of like distantly gazing. He is mentally impaired at this moment. Druva Florian turns to you and says, I've got both my hands on Druva. Uh, thank you so much for your assistance. This mm-hmm. has restored the great Alpha Toon. And there was much rejoicing. And there was much rejoicing as the Feywell that actually sits in the center of these great pillars shines once again with a golden energy inside its clear waters. Many of the Alfar now actually emerge from the woods. They are no longer afraid to rejoice. You have freed the mother tree. A beautiful woman actually walks over to one of the most tall, elegant, charming men she's ever seen. She says, you, with your markings, I can tell that you are kind to the Fae, that you are trustworthy. My name is Illidrith, and I come from the north. I left that land long, long ago when they waged war against the Fae. My brother still remains there entombed by those people. If you free him, he can help lead the Fae to freedom. He can help restore balance to this land. I beg of you, kind sir, who is known by millions. Y'all read my book here? Yes, we have read your book. For you are great, you are mighty, you are to be trusted. So, if you can free my brother, then I believe that we have a chance of finding peace in this land. And, like you have done here, freeing us from this darkness in these woods, I believe that you can free us from the darkness up north as well. Hey, baby, we do this everywhere we go. (laughs) I can tell by the look of you that you are a noble man. So, if you can free my brother, Alpha Raithi, then I believe we have a chance. Do you accept this quest? Yeah, why not? Then your renown will be not just regional, but world renown. Uh, Alpha Rivi? So it would be spelled R E I. You can put a T H there, I. Rivi. I'm close enough. I think. It's, it's good. It's like Rivi, but with a T H. Yeah. yeah. Rivi. So. Alpha Alpha Rivi. <laughs> you have done great deeds in this land. All of you must rejoice and be. Assured that you have completed what you are. You are renowned in Nymoria, not just in Nymoria, but by Nemir, choosing you as one of her great and noble warriors. You mm-hmm. are the tallest and most noble of the Grauman. The Am biggest I? sword. And you have the biggest sword of any Grauman I have ever seen. Mm-hmm. Someone with more intelligence could even utilize that blade to do great things. But maybe that's something you can focus on doing later. You have studied big. places that He's have so gone beyond <laughs> your grasp for so long, and you killed stuff and proved Lots your she strength. She compliments all y'all, but so she's so many and she, were cleaved in half. <laughs> she walks over and she places her hand upon his head. And she silently chants in fey tongue, and you feel a great healing in your body. A D6 plus tier worth of healing. (laughs) Can I get one of those? Can you touch me? Five it. You are now able to speak and return. Your mind is returned to you. 
I could use repair flesh. He's not a crew anymore. Or he's not then I cast my flesh. hand towards the well, and I tell you, enter through this well, and you can travel through the land. There are wells like this connected not only from here in Nymoria, but through to Moldenaith and even through Torwin. I wish you luck in your adventure to become renowned throughout Avonmoor, and I wish you luck in your successful saving of my brother, Rithy. Hey, before Let's we stay leave, here. can I get a little bit of what he just had? I think we should just stay here for the night, or for have a party. You know, like at the end of the third Star Wars movie, where they're all like, woohoo! The like, Ewoks are dancing, the there's lots of drumming. It's like a barbecue going on, a but barbecue. it's not them. You know, they got some food, probably some hot dogs, right? I think the Fae would want to throw us a party in their really cool forest. So we can all heal and hang out here before we hop through yet another portal. All right. So you have now received each of you three experience points just from this quest. Is that to you? Just from this one with the you stone. And uh, yes. Ooh, I'll just we, add three to what I have. I wonder what we got you can for keep it. All right. smooth talking. And the Jeez. map of the now active Feywells will be sent to the chat. Everyone receiving a blessing of Wosha from Druva Falorian. Which is what? Uh, the blessing of Wosha would be an int, so mental defense. One free mental defense asset. You stole the pencil. I stole my pencil. Uh, the last time I checked, it was community property. Where is your pencil? You have one. Uh -huh. It's on the ground. It's got to be on the ground. Um, I'm a bad neck. I'm now, worried. with that said, this closes Sorry. out the chapter of huh? Nymoria. From this point forward, you'd be venturing into Mordenaith, a new region, a new land if you choose to do so with these characters and you unless want, want to, to go, go back to the unless you want to go back to the one undone <laughs> asset in this land which was what namir oh not yet let's go back we full we did the i mean we did the one right alpar tomb yeah but like we didn't do the other one where we didn't kill the dragon Oh, well, she don't have to know about that. She doesn't, she's a hermit. She doesn't go anywhere. <laughs> All right, now. I could maybe call her down. Because you have completed like everything. I feel well, so we can hop back and forth, and so we can come back to her if we need to. You can come talk to her if you need to. But having completed Nymoria with just one really huge, dangerous, deadly bad guy short of completion of the POI map. She's not map. that bad, okay? She's just having a bad day. Alright. She got this so, necklace on. Additional four XP to everyone. Nice. Additional four. That's why I said hold up, because he's gonna give us more. Okay. I don't need I'll add it on. I have nine XP on balling out. Get you finitier up next time. And because of your alliance with Namir, each of you can carry the sigil of Namir. Basically, Meaning that if you approach her again, she sees you as assets, not as villains. Unless, of course, you run in and slap her or something. Yeah, who would do that? Only a crazy fool. Or wave a stabby stick with the bone of her best friend. Right. Mm -hmm. Sigil. You will have to remind me. Just, okay. just remember. But, and he also probably. No, Noel nor I were there. Yeah, we were not there. We are not there with the dragon. Got his. Um, Y'all were there arm. when he he broke the dragon bone. Yeah, though. he encouraged it. <laughs> he I'll has, snitch on him. Y'all all tried that. That, that was funny though. But that he is gets just XP for his arc. Oh, yes, it. tell me your arcs. Tell me what, what's going on there. My arc is done. I got both mine. You finished both yours. I mean, I, or you got both yours. I don't think they were ever finished. Okay. But for this region, so what were your what were your arcs? Uh, oh, establishment and instruction. So, but he, I, but what you're saying is, 
I was when we go to Mordenay, his... you're going to continue to establish your religion there. Is what I'm assuming. He can they restart that. Well, that's the thing. They it's love like, Aiden up here. He can restart like, it. And I'm about like to add God. another arc when we tear. I'm about to tear up again. So okay. I'm going to okay. add another arc. Nice. Are we going to do that now or next time? Right. We can have three if arcs. If you are exhausted, go on. We can do it. All right, so if you completed both of those arcs, then that's four for completion on both, so that's eight total. Wow. Uh, what was yours? Assistant organization, assisting his. Right. But he, he, you're so, he said he's still going to do that. He would just rejuvenate his arc for yeah. that oh. region. This is completion of this region, so that's for you, sir. Me, if the god lady uh, well, did, is that read and enjoyed my book, okay. No, I'm keeping that so I'll remember next time. And then you've got yours is set as theft. Yep. He didn't steal anything. Did he? I stole from a blind man. To be fair, he stole the hearts of many people. The precious bone of a fallen dragon and yeah, walked sword. out of Namir's castle with Did it. Did he ever and get he has a sword, sword. XP? Oh, yeah. So he has a sword as well. So that's four for completing your theft in Nymoria. Um, this was a pretty big like culmination. Then you? Yours was... I don't have any. You don't have a quest line? I mean, my yours was, was mine was cleanse the ore. And you did that. Okay, so... Technically it was cleanse the land, but I had to be real specific apparently when I got it, and so I put the ore. It's fine. This is culmination, so you can add 4 XP to cleansing the land, because you cleanse the tree Alfarchan. So... I think that's fair. Everybody's getting completions here. Nobody really sucked at playing their character. I told you it was on the floor. Did you? I didn't hear that. I wasn't All right. Saying. I said look on the floor. Like Thank this. you again for joining us. Don't forget to click like, click like, share, and subscribe. Tell all your family and friends about us. Please return as we move forward and starfall towards Moldenaith. I've been Tony. I've been thankful and blessed by your presence and listening to our podcast. Be good to you. I hope you enjoyed this week's episode of Starfall. If you did, be sure to head on over to our website at www.saturdaynightgamingllc.com and check out some of our other cool games. Also, make sure to like, share, and subscribe on all of our social media platforms. I hope you have a fantastic week. And until next time, this is Laura Hibbard with Saturday Night Gaming signing off.